Hi, welcome to SW Box. I'm Neil and today I've got some really, really cool products. Basically, they are bumpers for the iPhone 4 and they're metal, okay? Now, we've only got four colours at the moment, but I'm sure that will change. We've got a black one, black and silver if you like, which does look really stylish. A white one. Now, they say this is porcelain, but I think it's more uh, gloss paint, to be honest. But either way, it's, it's really smooth and really nice looking and sets off the iPhone 4 really well. They are um, compatible with iPhone 4s and iPhone 4s and Verizons, obviously. So don't worry, whichever iPhone 4 you have, these will fit it. And obviously, there's a red one as well. Now, I'm going to use the silver one or gunmetal grey, some people might call it. Okay, I'll get it out and I'm going to install it for you so you guys can see how to install it. Okay, I'm going to move everything else out of the way for a minute. Basically, just take that off, you get this little kit, okay, it's really easy to use and, and to install, so don't worry, it only takes a couple of minutes. Now, in the kit you get this little sticker which you can cut up, okay, and basically put one in each corner, okay, it's only a little bit of foam, what it will do is it will protect the iPhone 4 on all four corners and if you've got anything left maybe put a little bit down the sides as well just to stop it from scratching okay because um, it is a very tight fit now also with the kit you get this little um, pinion if you like and basically that goes into the top here from the inside and what that does is it helps you press your home button okay you also get two spare screws which we're not going to need they're just there in case you lose them but I don't think you'll lose them anyway, to be honest. Okay, and then you've got two screws in it. There's one there, and there's one this side. Now, I will say, you do have to take both screws out. Don't think you can take one out and then pull it out, or like, try and pry it open enough to slide the iPhone in, because it doesn't work. Basically, I'll show you that now. You, there's no way you can get an iPhone in there. So make sure you do take both ends out. Once that's came off, let's put our little pinion into the hole, okay, up there. Pop it in. Slide the iPhone for it. This only goes on one way, so you can't get it wrong. Okay, once that's on, I'm just going to put the T screws back in. I'm not going to worry about putting my rubber stuff on because obviously I'm not going to leave it on the phone. So small this little one, okay. Never mind. Done. Okay, this is how your phone's going to look if you've got a gunmetal grey or silver one. Basically, um, everything is exposed, you can get to it nicely. Okay, volume, view, no problem. I will say with this hole, okay, just be wary that you need your iPhone earplugs or something that sort of diameter for the uh, 3.5 jack. Basically, because the cutout isn't that big on this face here, okay you're going to struggle to put other earphone jacks in there. So just be wary of that, that's one thing you need to know. Everything else is exposed, even your SIM tray, so you haven't even got to take it off to get your SIM tray out. Even the uh, speakers, they've got cutouts, and obviously the charging port is also exposed. And the home button with that little um, grommet, or pinion if you like, that just obviously helps turn it on and off nicely. There's no issues with that as well. And if you ask me, that really does look stylish. It's got a nice shape to it as well. Okay, So when you're holding it, it, it just seems to fit perfectly in your hand. Nicely into the palm where that bit's cut out. And then your fingers seem to grip well on the other side of the face where it's cut there. Okay, so 
that's what it's going to look like. If you want a red one, obviously it's going to look similar to that. As obviously the white one and the black one. Like I said, I'm sure we will be getting more colours. Maybe a gold or something like that. Who knows? But anyway, end of the day, if you're interested in these sort of products, come to SW Box. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.